Welcome back to tutorial 14, part 2. Well, first up, we need to grab uh, GNS3. If you've never come across GNS3 before, this is a bit like the site says here, used by millions. It is a fantastic free tool that will allow you to learn uh, networking in general, but um, a lot of people use it for practice and getting ready for their CCNA or CCNP. Um, you can do all the things that you would ever want to do. Um, okay, that's probably too broad, but a hell of a lot of what you would like to do to configure and design networking systems um, and test those out in a lab environment, in a virtual environment, on your Mac or on your PC, before you uh, really kick off and get into designing it within the actual uh, physical environment where you want to implement that network. So again, if you've never come across it, it's a fabulous tool. Uh, it can be a little bit daunting to get going on this first, but there are some fantastic uh, videos on YouTube uh, which will get you going on things. Um, and in particular for um, you know, Cisco certification, there, there are a hell of a lot of things on GNS3, CCNA, and a lot of good labs that you can go into and check out there that will show you how to get used to using GNS3. Um, I think there's some introductory ones as well. Um, you know, here's one here, simple one to get going with two routers, etc. You know, so by all means, you know, it takes time like any tool to get used to these things. There's fabulous information on this site as well. Um, so I can't recommend it enough. Once you do get used to it and you get over those first early learning hurdles, then you will find that this is your best friend for doing network design. So click on download. You, uh, you have to create, if I remember, a username and login. If you don't have an account, whack in your email address and away you go. Um, I believe I have an account. Um, it might be that. Yep, it was that. Um, so once you're in, download the Mac version if you're on Mac, Windows or Linux, and there you go. And that will bring down an actual DMG file, if I remember rightly. So I'll just click on it and show you it's bringing it down. I'm going to cancel that because I don't need it. I've already got it installed. So download it, install it, and then start to configure it. Uh, you will need some Cisco licensed iOS images to be able to add Cisco devices. So I'm going to show you how you add them. Um, and then we can go through uh, setting up GNS3. Uh, lastly, before we actually dive into GNS3, I wanted to quickly bring back our virtual box. So the next thing I'm going to do is I've created a template here via a standard. Um, I'm going to take that template and clone it. Again, if you've never, if you're not that familiar with VirtualBox, uh, it allows you to copy this machine basically. So I'm going to clone it or copy it, and I'm going to call that Tutorial 14. I'm going to reinitialize the MAC address. So it will randomly choose another MAC address for this particular device. Continue with that. Choose full clone, because we want the actual full hard drive. That will come up. Copying that over. That's fine. And there we go. And we have tutorial 14 at the top here. So the other thing I'm going to do now is to go into my VirtualBox preferences. So on my main menu, VirtualBox Preferences. And then I'm going to configure up some one host-only network. Well, as you can see here, I've got uh, rather a lot of these. So let's just delete these. I can recreate them later. I was working on tutorial 15 last night. Um, I'm going to remove all of that. I have found some foibles. I don't know whether it's my Mac or you know it's VirtualBox in general, but I I'm going to kill VirtualBox completely and restart it after doing the uh, remove of those um, networks. And I'm going to go back into Preferences again and create 
a new, whoops, I don't want a NAT one, host only network, VBOX net zero, this is going to be on 10.10.0.0.0. I'm going to put it on 5, the actual, this will create a virtual IP address on your, or on my Mac here. Um, I'm going to put it on 5, um, and this is going to be 252. No DHCP server. And that's fine. So for tutorial 14, on the network side, it's going to have two adapters. So this one will be host only on VBOX Net Zero. Um, I'm going to set this to deny. And the second one is VBOX Zero, and I'm going to set this to deny as well. Okay. I tell you the last thing I'm going to do is go into those settings again and I'm just going to again randomize show you that you can randomize the uh, you know the actual MAC address of the machine okay so let's fire this up and see what we get into grub you'll have seen this in tutorial 13 the boot process for VYOS. Okay. Okay, now this has failed, and I expected that to fail because it will have um, different um, Ethernet adapters because we randomized those Ethernet adapters. So that's fine, but it should be VYOS. Okay, and if I do a show interfaces, we've got this two and three going on here. So what I'm gonna do is show you how to just wipe this thing. So we can load slash opt slash viada slash etc slash config dot boot dot default. Oh, I'm gonna have typeitis today, obviously. Commit that and save that. And this is a way of completely wiping your configuration on, uh, on your brand new virtual machine or your brand new uh, Viata machine if you've actually rented one. It just wipes everything. Um, I'm gonna, uh, whoops, I don't wanna power off, I wanna reboot. Just gonna reboot that and see what we get this time. Again, the, um, by changing the Ethernet addresses, we may well have ended up uh, in a situation where it won't see the interfaces. In which case, I'm going to have to pause for a sec and go away and actually uh, figure out what the Ethernet addresses are and then just edit the config.boot file directly and put in a new Ethernet address. So let's see if it fails. No, it hasn't. Okay, good. So when we log in now, and we do a show interfaces. Yeah, that's what we wanted. Op op and eth0, eth0 and eth1. Whereas before we had eth2 and eth3 because it didn't understand the hardware IP um, MAC addresses. So that's exactly where we wanted to end up with our Viana. Um, and we're gonna come back to that machine in a minute. So now I'm going to start GNS3. So I'm gonna pause it there and start GNS3. So that was just a quick pause so I could come back in here. I wanted to get the top of this screen so you could really see and I needed to change the size of the screen. So we're exactly where we were. We have uh, a virtual machine running which is uh, our machine here. As you can see I haven't really touched it. I, I'm going to power off this machine now. Um, uh, I'll tell you what, just before I do that, why don't we um, go into comp and set system host name, whoops, host name, um, let's call it VY tot 14. So we know it's our tutorial 14 uh, VYOS machine. 
Um, I'm going to save that. Now I'm going to exit. Now I'm going to power it off. Okay, you'll see the reason for doing that in a sec. This will disappear. So let's start GNS3. Um, literally, when you install the DMG package on your Mac and you start it for the first time, this is what you're going to get. Um, you can not show this again, but you know, effectively this is what you're going to get. Close that and we get a blank canvas and it's asking us for a project name. Um, now, I think I've already created a project in here for tutorial 14 for YouTube. There we go. I can just click on that and go open. Which is exactly what I've expected. I guess uh, some of you might have been sat there thinking, oh, he's gonna have it already done. No, I want a blank canvas. We're gonna start from scratch here. Um, the reason I also wanted to rejig to get this menu up here for GNS3 and capture this within the, um, within the video was how to set up your machines. So when you go, um, sorry, let me walk you through that again. GNS preferences. You've got a whole load of preferences here. You can have QMU machines. Uh, I think I've got a couple of these down, tiny core machines. You can have virtual box machines, um, which will allow you to bring in VMs. Here's the three I've done. I think in an earlier tutorial, we did touch upon um, some damn small Linux. It uh, might've been tutorial 13 actually. So that's my, I've dragged those in and made them available to GNS3, um, and that's the Viata that we had in uh, Tutorial 13. And this is where your Cisco routers go, under the um, uh, Virtual Engine Dynamips. So I've got two of them in here, one I've configured up as a switch, it, it's still a C3600 uh, I think, with a, uh, in fact here, look it's written here, it's a C3640, um, it's a Cisco image, but I've put a, an ether switch in there so that I can actually emulate it being a switch. If you want to add a new one, you have to have, like I say, um, licensed iOS images. And I have some of these down here. And I can actually pick those up and put in a new machine. So if we want a 1700 router, there you go. Click open. Next. Next next. Uh, you can choose what adapters you want to have, but this is just stuck with this one. Uh, next and finish. And there you go. Now we have a C1700. So I'm going to just delete that because we don't need it. We're going to use the 3600. Um, and that's how you would add a new device. It's similar on the virtual box side, you will go new and then this will list all of your virtual machines. Let's just double check that by going to VirtualBox. We have Viata Standard, Tutorial 15s, DSLs, back in here. Viata Standard, I've got some DSLs in here as well. Oh no, they're already added, so they won't list them because they're already there. But there's 15A, 15B, and Tutorial 14. So that's how you will link it to your uh, VBox virtual machines. So go can or I'll go cancel. Uh, you will go add a machine, and then you're ready to rock and roll. So uh, to see all the devices that you have available, click on this icon here, and you will have all of these devices available. So I'm going to stop part two there because it's probably getting quite long now. Uh, join me in part three when we'll actually design the picture that we had earlier in terms of. Let me just start it up again. Let's have another quick look. If PowerPoint will start quickly. Here we go. I'm going to open the recent. This is what we are going to create. I'll just get this into the picture here. So join me in a second in part three when we're going to add the Cisco, add the Viata, add the two switches, and add our four PCs. My name is Eamon Killian. Thanks for watching. Uh, this was part two, tutorial 14. Join me in part three.